It's me, Da Doom. Welcome to the hall. Welcome back, Wargamers, to my next hobby vlog. Yeah, this is another one that I'm not sure which will get put out where. I think this will be number seven. But, you know, it's kind of tricky. So I've done the base the same way I did the Last Spires base, which is Dawnstone, base coated, uh, Rhinox hide for the mud, then washed with Nuln oil and Reichland Flush Shade. Then dry brushed the brown parts with Gorthor Brown. And then some Flayed One Flesh. And after that, I then, for the stone, I did Dawnstone again. Then Dawnstone mixed with Cremate White. And actually on the top, I used a little bit of pure Cremate White. So kind of a fallen Arnor I went for with these bases, which is probably this is the style I'll be using for my elves, which you saw in the other uh, video. I still haven't done their bases, so I told you they'd be at the next hobby vlog, but I haven't gotten the elves bases painted up because I need to paint this stuff up sooner, and the elves aren't really a priority. So I will still be showing you guys the elves with the bases soon, but not quite yet. So this is the spider I'm going to be putting on, and I will actually be posing it so it's kind of climbing down, and I'm actually going to be using a Spider-Man spider theme, because it'd be kind of fun. I'm painting all these spiders to do Spider-Man style, so yeah, you'll kind of be with the back legs climbing down here. And I should be able to pose that pretty easily with a hairdryer. And, yeah, so I'll come back when the spider is posed. Welcome back, Wargamers! Once again, I've gotten carried away and forgot to show you the base coat. It wasn't that much of a, of something, though. I, I mean, I just put the bone areas in Flayed One Flesh, the green areas in Caliban Green, and the blue areas in Cantor Blue. But, yeah, sorry about Forgetting to show you that. And then I wash the spider all over. Whoever heard of washing a spider? <laughs> With Reichland Flesh Aid. So then I highlighted the bone areas up with Flayed One Flesh. And then for its final highlight, I actually used dry brushing because it avoids all those nasty lines that make it look. You know, not quite as good if you have all these brush lines. Dry brushing can sometimes produce a really natural look if you have something kind of unnatural, like animals or cloaks, or not cloaks, uh, skins and whatnot. Dry brushing can actually work really well on leather as well. So pretty much just a teeny bit of yellow, mainly flayed one flesh, and a bit of cremate white on the bones. For the green, I then re-applied... The Caliban Green, I think, and then dry brushed Warpstone Glow, then a light dry brush of Moot Green. For the blue, I started out with Cantor Blue, then a Lilac Blue, Altioc Blue, I'm sorry, Cal then Caligar Blue, then Caligar Blue mixed with Cremate White, getting lighter and lighter. So to kind of get the same glowing effect I had with my other spider. So that is pretty much what I did. The fangs are also the same bone color. I will be glazing the eyes with the Talmia color acrylic paint to give them a glow. And then I will be putting the spider on the base. And I will show you that when it is completed. Welcome back, Wargamers. So this is my spider completely finished. I just put the spider on the base. Here it is. I made it so it's kind of climbing down. Or more than kind of, it is climbing down. So that it's, you know, really dynamic. Which I quite like in my miniature poses, to have very dynamic poses. 
For the eyes, I pretty much just glossed them in the Tell Me a Color acrylic paint so that they were glowing. And that's pretty much all I did. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby and Akmin Ruki Astu. Thank you.